The other one that we can use to expand out our search is called truncation. And um, truncation is a word that just basically means shortening. So this is where we can take a special character, which is the star, and that we can use to also give the system more options. So for example, let's say that one author used the word aggressive behavior or the term aggressive behavior when they were describing their research, and another author used the term aggressiveness, and the third author used the term aggression. Well, these kind of all mean the same thing, and the words kind of all have the same root. This little star can act like a wild card. Uh, so that would allow you to put in only one of these options with the star, and then what you can do is tell the system you're happy with any of these. Um, so let's see, so it would look like this. So. so that's the root. And then if you put the star at the end of it, you'll get any word that starts with that root but has any ending. So aggression will be found, aggressiveness will be found, and aggressive will be found. And what this does is it allows you to just use one phrase, or sorry, one term, and get multiple options. We could do this with um, violent as well, the word violent. If we were to take a star and add it there, at the end, well, first of all, if we put it there, what do we think would happen? Uh, honestly, not much, because the word violent by itself doesn't really have any other endings. However, if you took away the T and put it there, so it would be violin star, then you're going to get violent or violence. So you have to remove as many letters as you need to get to the root, and then you put the star, and it gives you more options. And that's called truncation. So the two techniques, using and and or, and truncation, which is using the star or a wild card, should be able to increase your search results and basically expand out your search. So now we'll take a look at a quick screencast showing you how to do these in PsycInfo.